Thank you everybody for taking the time to join me today. Today we're going to be discussing the True Dent Monolithic Denture Solution, uh, revolutionizing denture production with the J5 Dentajet 3D printer. So I just want to give you an overview of, of how uh, this is going to go. Um, first, I'm going to introduce myself, Go Engineer, and briefly discuss Stratasys, um, just to kind of lay the framework uh, for the machines that we're talking about. Then I'll get specifically into the J5 Denajet. Just briefly, I've already done other webinars um, on this machine, but I just want to uh, uh, encapsulate the uh, key uh, features of the machine. And then we'll dive into the true dent material and the polychromatic monolithic denture workflow. Uh, after that, we'll have a discussion with Derek Staggs from Staggs Dental. And then we'll do a live Q&A with myself and Derek before concluding. And so if you don't know me, some of you do, some of you don't. My name is Richard Cromwell. I'm an additive manufacturing applications engineer. Uh, based out of the Pleasant Ridge uh, office for Go Engineer. Um, I'm a big user of materialized magic, and Polyjet is my favorite additive manufacturing technology. Uh, the company that I represent is Go Engineer. Um, I just want to take a minute introducing us as while we may be really well known in a lot of industries like aerospace and transportation and medical devices, we may be less known to those of you in the dental industry. So I, I want to change. Um, Go Engineer is the largest reseller uh, for both SolidWorks 3D design software and Stratasys 3D printers. Uh, for over 30 years, we've been in the background connecting many of the biggest and most important companies in the world. Um, we've been connecting them with the design and manufacturing software that allows them to do what they do. And it is our wish to bring that same level of, of exceptional service and our vast technical resources to the dental industry. Now, we not only offer the best design and manufacturing software and hardware solutions, but even more importantly, we assist our company, customers in making sure that they are successful in the deployment of the technology that we represent. We have over 300 engineers and technical experts on staff spread throughout 60 offices all across uh, North America. So now that you have a better idea as to who the engineer is, uh, let me briefly introduce you to Stratasys. The dental industry is constantly evolving, advancing, developing. To be the best, you need the best. Stratasys Dental, because we leveraged 30 years of additive manufacturing experience with the best of 3D printing technology and adapted it for the dental industry, offering multi-material printing with extremely accurate parts. The world's first monolithic full color appliances and next generation DLP technology, featuring higher throughput, remarkable surface quality. We're pushing the boundaries of digital dentistry, providing GrabCAD print, an intuitive software platform, delivering a smarter, smoother workflow. Dental is our priority. We are driven by your need to keep production going. Stratasys, your partner for smart growth. Stratasys Dental, master the challenge. Okay, so Stratasys is, the, is one of the original global leaders in applied additive manufacturing technology solutions. Their aim today is to be the leader in polymer 3D printing during every step of a product's value chain. For over 30 years, Stratasys has acquired an unrivaled collection of devoted customers across several industrial sectors, including automotive, aerospace and defense, industrial and healthcare. I, I would just want to show you this quick timeline um, of Stratasys' development. You know, uh, Scott Crump uh, invented FDM in his kitchen. Uh, Scott Crump was an engineer that uh, developed, like when people think of 3D printing, they often think of the glue gun on a gantry type of, of, uh, of extrusion uh, uh, methodology. And, and and uh, Scott Crump actually invented FDM back in 1988. And uh, Stratasys introduced the first uh, 3D printer, the commercially available under $30,000. Um, in 2012, Stratasys acquired Object. That'll be very important in one second. 
And in 2020, uh, we introduced the full color office friendly multi material J55 3D printer, which is now the J5 platform that represents a, a several different machines. And uh, if we go look back at 2009 uh, is when Object launched the Eden 260V, which many of you may be familiar with. It was the first 3D printer specifically designed for the dental industry. So uh, Stratasys's uh, roots into the dental industry are, are quite deep. And that brings us to the Stratasys J5 Dentajet. So just to kind of uh, uh, and give a basic overview for those of you that aren't additive manufacturing experts, um, the ISO ASTM 52900 um, standard classifies additive manufacturing in seven different process categories. And we have everything from VAT photopolymerization, material extrusion, material jetting, binder jetting, powder bed fusion, direct energy deposition, sheet lamination. When we look at the Stratasys portfolio, uh, we find ourselves limited to the VAT photopolymerization, material extrusion, material jetting, powder bed fusion. And today specifically, we're going to be talking about material jetting, which um, Stratasys has coined polyjet. So the Stratasys uh, J5 Denajet um, allows you to leverage Stratasys smart digital workflow, multimedia, uh, multi-material unattended printing and minimal, minimal post-processing to increase output while producing higher quality dental parts. Uh, Polyjet 3D printing specifically delivers key advantages for a wide set of dental applications, such as we have extreme accuracy for implantology cases, and uh, best-in-class aesthetics for removables, realistic color models, and flexibility in the materials to support your production needs with high-volume mixed-tray printing. So just to cover the key features here, I'm not going to spend too much time on the machine specifically, but uh, the J5 Denajet allows you to print in multiple, mater multiple materials simultaneously um, using a piezoelectric print head. And it does have a um, a polar axis, that's the hallmark of the J5 platform, as opposed to a Cartesian axis. The use of all these uh, multiple materials allow us to harness the power of color, um, which you'll see is very important when we're discussing the true dent solution. Uh, because it, this is a higher throughput printer, um, you, it's a high volume, unattended uh, printer, uh, and it saves time and requires less manual post-processing than, say, a lot of the uh, open vat pho photopolymer technologies like, uh, like DLP. Um, another nice thing uh, that separates this from DLP and other open vat photopolymerization um, systems is that it's a much safer working environment because everything, all of the um, uncured resin is, uh, is closed. It's not open. You're not going to be exposed to it. And that just makes things uh, a heck of a lot cleaner. And so now, now that we've laid the foundation for, for uh, what allows us to print TrueDent, let's, let's talk about TrueDent itself. Sometimes dreams do come true. Introducing TrueDent by Stratasys with multi-material technology that enables printing of a full palette of colors and shades. So the possibilities are truly endless. The entire structure, both denture base and teeth, are created in one continuous print, no assembly required. The results look more natural than anything you've ever printed. Let the true colors shine through. True Dent is allowing you to customize and match for multiple cases simultaneously and print different colors all on a single tray. Sometimes dreams do come true. TrueDent by Stratasys. True aesthetics made possible. So the TrueDent key features are that it's a monolithic, uh, it's a monolithic full color print and uh, it's a sing single continuous print of both the denture base and the teeth. So there's no assembly required. So um, another key feature of TrueDent is it gives us really exceptional um, aesthetics. So proprietary polyjet multi-material technology uh, delivers natural looking gums and mimics two structure with optimal translucency. Uh, we can print mixed batches of highly customized dentures and temporaries 
um, on one tray. Uh, and um, you can fit up to 24 different uh, dentures onto one tray, which takes about 12 hours to print. Another uh, thing that is an advantage here is because we're dealing with polyjet, it's a very, very accurate technology. And so we get accurate prints um, from design to fit. It's a high fidelity match between the design and uh, the print, which ensures repeatable, consistent production of accurate, well-fitting dentures. Uh, this means less chair time for patients, uh, dentists, and labs, so it's a win-win for everybody. Um, the true dent specifications, I'll just uh, leave, leave this up here for a second. It, it, you have to understand this is a light curable resin. Um, it's indicated for the fabrication of dental appliances, including removable, removable full and partial dentures, denture bases, denture teeth, bridges, crowns, inlays, onlays, and veneers in dental laboratories. The material is an alternative to traditional heat curable and auto polymerizing resins. Um, Stratus's true dent is intended exclusive, exclusively for professional dental work. It is a class two approved uh, medical device by the FDA. So let's get into the workflow. So how does this work? So for, for those dental labs that have a uh, three-shape license, um, there is a really well-defined three-shape software uh, integration and workflow. Uh, there is a document available online that allows you to uh, run through that. And if you're interested in it, please uh, let me know. I'd be happy to send it to you. But the, it doesn't really matter what um, software you're using to prepare the models, uh, whether it's ExoCAD um, or, uh, or you know, whatever you're using. I, I've even done it in Materialized Magic. If you're using a different CAD software to create your models, you need to follow the following design parameters. So the minimum base thickness should be 2.5 millimeters. Uh, for monolithic prints, you want to make sure to set the offset between the teeth and the gingiva to zero in your design. Um, that way they're bonded. Uh, it is recommended to use an unbridged teeth library for a more aesthetic look. So once we have our file set up and, and you're gonna have two STLs, you're gonna have an STL for the teeth and you're gonna have an STL for the gingiva, um, we need to bring those into GrabCAD print. So then this little video, uh, we want to make certain that we have the TrueDent machine template selected in the bottom right, and then we want to ensure that we have the TrueDent material loaded into the machine. So once we have that, we want to bring in the STLs for the gingiva and the teeth as an assembly. Here we're selecting both the teeth and the gingiva, and then it will combine those two. They have the same uh, world coordinate system, so they'll be imported properly. Once that's done, uh, you can see the part there comes in. We can orient on the tray. Now, GrabCAD does have the ability to auto-orient, um, but you can do it manually as well. And now we wanna uh, take advantage of the fact that GrabCAD is a powerful repair algorithm. So we can correct any file errors such as intersecting surfaces and inverted normals, et cetera. And now we can apply the color we want to the two parts of the assembly independently of one another. There are 10 built-in gingiva shades, uh, some with and without capillaries modeled into the texture. And then we have 19 different tooth shades, uh, some of which consist of two layers and others three. So you can really dial in the desired shading and uh, translucency of the teeth. Once we are satisfied with the look of our model, um, all we really need to do at that point is uh, press print in the lower right-hand corner and send it to the machine. So once the model is printed and removed from the printer, the next phase could begin. Um, so this is what it looks like uh, when the parts first come off the printer. They still have the support matrix um, on there. So we're gonna have to deal with support removal um, cleaning and UV post care. So we're going to run this video and show you that next.
All right. So after the model is fully dried, uh, we have a matte surface denture that is ready for polishing. And so polishing uh, true dead dentures, they can be uh, done by conventional industry methods. You can use wet pumice on a wet rag wheel on low speeds, um, polish both the gingiva and the teeth areas at the same time, and uh, finish by using a polishing compound. And uh, the denture cleaning instructions for patients, uh, the denture can be cleaned by the patient with, soft, with water and a soft brush. And then after cleaning the denture, it should be dried and not soaked in liquid. And then abrasive or whitening agents in toothpaste can damage the surface of the denture, so you don't want to use those. And so now that we've, uh, we've looked at the solution um, and the material in the J5 Denajet, uh, I, I, I kind of hope that you have a better understanding as to the value proposition that is being presented by the TrueDent solution. And so now uh, let's take a few minutes and we'll tune into a discussion that I had a few days ago with Derek Staggs, founder of Staggs Dental Lab, about his true dent experience. Hello, everybody. Uh, today, I'm joined by the owner of Skaggs Dental Lab, in Western Port, Maryland. Uh, Derek was a beta tester and an early adopter of the true dent monolithic denture solution. I invited him to sit down with me and discuss the th his thoughts and experiences about working with the new material on his Stratasys J5 Denajet. So, good afternoon, Derek. Hey, good afternoon. Um, can you give uh, give us some background on your dental lab and your experiences with 3D printing and dentistry? Sure. Um, we've been a, basically a crown and bridge lab for 20 some years now. And so we we had a lot of doctors in our area wanting, you know, dentures. And the only way that I would do it is is digital. So. Finally, after so many requests, you know, we, we like, you know, we got to jump into this. So um, we got on board with the Asigas and the, and the uh, Lucitone 199, uh, and we started doing it that way. And then, thank God for uh, David Bolin and a couple other of my colleagues, Frank Acosta and those guys, um, they got me hooked up with a J5, and... Uh, We've been we've been just going gangbusters ever since. So yeah, it's it's awesome. That's fantastic. Um, what was your initial impression of the Stratasys TrueDent material when you first started working with it? Um, you know, to me, it, it was uh, really cool. You know, the the shade of the teeth to me were a little off, but now that they're working, you know, together with their partners to get the shades tuned in you know the shade we've already done a revision on the shades the shades look great the pink colors are amazing i mean be able to print veins in a denture uh of any different color of pink that you want i mean it, it's it's pretty amazing so um but yeah overall i mean it was a little difficult to get the the polishing technique down but we we've got that mastered um you know, as far as it being uh, a high impact, I, I don't really think that's been an issue. We have so many immediates in the in the patient's mouths right now, and they've all been great. So, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if it's, this will pertain to this question, but I had a doctor request the Lucitone 199, and I'm like, you know what, let me go ahead and print off, a, a, you know, a Trudent with you with it with the same case and, and send it to you and you know i'll give it to you for free and you try it out so the patient's wearing the true dent <laughs> that's true, true fantastic story. that's true awesome story. yeah yeah so how has the use of the stratus's true dent material the j5 dent jet affected the turnaround time and overall efficiency of your lab oh the turnaround uh is incredible for example okay i got I had a, dent, a doctor call me up, and they needed an immediate. Uh, and their dent, they have actual denture tech in their basement, right? So we, they said, we need an immediate. Um, can we send you the files? And you have to design it, and, and the patient's due tomorrow at 1 o'clock. So that was in the evening. So I hurried up, got the files, jumped on ExoCAD, designed the denture, put it on the J5, got it to... It printed in like two hours, um, cleaned it up. Next day, next morning, I come in, 
did the rest of the process, the glycerin, the alcohol, all that good stuff, and had it polished up within a half an hour, got it over there to him by one o'clock, and it, the fit was perfect, and the patient was so happy. So <laughs> turnaround time, I mean, you you can you can knock out some ventures. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. So based on your experience, what kind of denture cases would you say are the best ones suited for the Stratasys True Dent material and J5 Denijet 3D printing process? I, w- I would say any. Um, okay. Like I said, the, the, we've done several immediates, and we've also done several copy dentures, you know, where they the doctor will scan, like, like do a wash impression inside it and scan the full denture 360, and we basically just mock uh, the denture. And oh wow! Basically, basically like a a, a new denture with a, a great reline. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah. yeah. Hey, that's yeah. a that's a really good application. Yeah, I like it I like that. It works great. Yeah. Um, how does the cost of producing dentures using the Stratasys True Dent material compare um, to traditional denture fabrication methods? As well as like I know that you said you had used some some other digital uh, uh, denture systems as well. Yeah. Yeah. So as far as like an analog type, I I couldn't tell you that, you know, but, you know, with us printing them, I know that the bottles of the Lucitone liquid and the Lucitone IPN teeth, Mm -hmm. very expensive compared to uh, the TrueDent cartridges. Um, We've been doing this for, what, three, four months now, two or three months. I'm not sure, but uh, we've done several dentures and... I've only had to replace uh, one cartridge so far, and that was the support. So, <laughs> and all the other colors are still, you know, going strong. But hey, that's um, fantastic. Yeah, that's it's great. So, um, as far as cost wise, um, you know, I don't know specifics if I, if I can get into numbers as far as it's probably half of the cost of a bottle of Lucitone. I okay. would say. Yeah. yeah, that's that's terrific. Um. What kind of training or onboarding process was required for your, for you guys to effectively use the true dent material in the J5 Denijet? Um, you know, they had a, a technician come here and set it up, and he basically showed us. He didn't know anything about the true dent material, mm-hmm. um, but he knew uh, a ton about, you know, of course, the J5. And he taught us all that. But as far as the process, um, you know, we just – we got in touch with David Bolin, with um, uh, Steve Coda from mm-hmm. Stratasys, and yep. basically they gave us step by step by step for the FDA, right? And we follow that to a T. Excellent. And it's it's pretty simple, you know. At first, people were like, it, "It takes forever," but really, if you have a busy lab, you set a timer, you walk away, it does its own thing in the in the glycerin or in the in the caustic or whatever. Yeah. Come back. So, I mean, we can, we got the flow down pretty good. I mean, we, good. we can knock them out, yeah. Super. So, in terms of maintenance and upkeep, what differences, if any, have you noticed between the J5 Denijet and the other 3D printers that you have in your lab? Oh, man. Like, little little to none uh, as far as maintenance. You know, we, yeah. do the, we do the cleaning after every print, um, which is so simple. I mean, it takes 10 minutes, maybe, not even that. Mm-hmm. The mat... Yeah, so the other printers, you know, they get all that liquid, that mass, that sticky. I mean, you're constantly cleaning up after that. But oh, oh yeah. Um, but no, I mean the, the maintenance. Um, no, everything's been great. I, I haven't had any issues with that. Yeah, I totally agree. I've been a long time a J55 Prime user, and I have a J5 Denijet now here as well, and nice. uh, as well as like Origin One and, and other like VAT photopolymerization technologies, and I find. That uh, the cleaning the uh, J55 and the J5 platform is much much easier than than dealing with any of the vo- uh, VAT photopolymer resin technologies. Now I know that you mentioned ExoCAD. Is that the primary application um, that you use to uh, generate your um, denture designs and things like that? You, you know we do. We either it's either in lab uh, software 22 or or ExoCAD. We also okay. have. Um, three shape, but we really were not proficient in that. We just basically we got it to be able to support the Lucitone 109 uh, uh-huh. uh, tooth molds. So, and we don't really even use that. So, uh, basically, what we do, we design it two pieces, 
and then in GrabCAD, we we put them together as an assembly and, and go from there. Perfect. Pick the, That's... Pick the color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. neat. And then I don't know if you saw, but uh, just in the past week, um, they have partnered with uh, like Vita um, uh, on their on their shading. Uh, uh, yeah. So that we can sure. duplicate that. I wasn't sure if I allowed to say that or not, but yeah, that's what I, was meaning. <laughs> I, yeah I read it. I, it, I, somebody posted an article on LinkedIn today about that. And I thought it was so cool. Oh yeah. Uh, so they're going to have them tuned in. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. hundred percent. So, um, what kind of feedback have you received from dentists and patients about the dentures produced using the true dent material? All good results. Um, you know, like I said, the immediate, so I sent a couple pictures out to my uh, Stratasys rep and he, and he uh, posted them on on his uh, LinkedIn and, and uh, Facebook page and Perfect. it was just it was just pictures that I got from my doctors that we did immediates on and they just they just went right in perfectly the occlusion was dead on um, you, you know what's great you know the shapes and stuff of the teeth or you know you pick it to pick fit the patient's you know look and it, it just really is satisfying to get pictures like that from a doctor, which, you know, I never really hardly do. And, and then when we started doing dentures, they were like, man, these things are awesome. You know, <laughs> check this out. So th th I'm constantly getting pictures. So it, it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty satisfying. Okay. That, yeah, that's great. Um, just a couple more questions. Uh, in your opinion, uh, what sets the Stratus as true dent material and the J5 Dentigen apart from other 3D printing materials and technologies in the dental industry? Um, well, there, there, there's really no comparison. I mean, it's the the way that it prints. I mean, you can have, I mean, you know as well as I know, 30 dentures on there, different colored tooth in every one of them if you wanted to. And, it, right. and the cleanliness of it, um, the technology is amazing. Um it's just a no-brainer, especially for, you know, I talked to a lab uh, the other day with one of the Stratasys guys, and he's looking to get into it. And he's he's a Crown and Bridge guy like I was. And, I, you know, I, I couldn't stress enough that if, if he's going to do it, don't mess with that uh, that mess. You know, just go this route and, and do it the easy way. because And, and the advancements that they're, that they're coming out with and the, and the shade locking down with the Vita and stuff. I mean, it's, it's a no-brainer. I mean, it's... It's it's great. Okay, that's super. And uh, I guess we'll just uh, kind of wrap it up by saying, considering your experiences with the Stratus as true dent material, what advice would you give to other dental labs considering adopting this technology? And I think you kind of just covered. That. Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, honestly, it's um, to me, if you if you set a, a true dent denture beside of a loose tone denture with the IPN teeth. You know, I hate to keep going back and forth, but it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, it looks more aesthetic, like a like a tr uh, a true analog denture does. You know, looks more like a denture tooth, uh, but maybe even better because you know you can you got the variations in the shades, um, the different colors of pink with that you can add the veins to. I mean, it's just it, it's I don't know. <laughs> It's in it's a class all of its own. And, and it is, it is. It, it, yeah. And I, and that's why I was so excited, um, when, when I found out about it. And I'm so glad that it's, it's being, um, it's being appreciated and adopted. And I hope that it continues to, uh, to in the future, um, continues to grow. Derek, thank you so much for, for taking the time to share your true dent experience with us. And right. I wish you continued success and look forward to seeing you achieve it. Hey, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Um, yeah, it's super exciting. Appreciate Excellent. it. We actually have uh, Derek on the call. If anybody has some questions, uh, feel free to fire them out here. I have I have a question for you. Uh, okay. When it comes to you, during the course of our um, earlier discussion, you had said that uh, it took a while to get the polishing technique down. Uh, what do you, what specifically do you do? Do you have any tips um, for polishing true dent dentures once they are printed? Um, yeah, I was talking. Um, I was on a on a call with a, another lab that's looking to get into to uh, this, and they asked the same question. Um, so my son does it. 
uh, he does it totally different way than I do it. Um, basically, I'll go over the whole entire denture and and festoon it uh, real quickly, sort of to get rid of the you know the fuzz on the outside of it. And um, and then then I have a green rubber wheel and a, and a black rubber wheel that I go over the whole entire thing, and then and then I go straight to the pumice, uh, and I can get mine pretty pretty darn good with the with the pumice and the polish rag wheel, but um, my son just starts right off with the with the blue or the the uh, green and the black uh, rubber wheels and okay. and uh, his look just as good as mine when we're finished and and he can do it way faster than I can and I'm you know I'm I'm just more tedious I guess I want to sit there and play with it with my hands more but uh, yeah so yeah once you get that down I mean you could have you could you could finish polish one up in 15 20 minutes. Okay, that's cool. Okay, well, thank you very much, everybody, for, for your time today. Thank you, Derek, especially. Yeah. Uh, and I really appreciate it. And uh, I wish you continued success, my friend. Hey, I appreciate it. Thanks so much, Richard. All right. Take care, everybody.